at it again. This is voices of the people, y'all. Don't let them tell you what's real. What you know ain't real. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. All I need is one mic, one beat, and one stage. One time for me to shine. You know, I started skateboarding when I was 11 years old, and I retired from skateboarding professionally when I was 30. During the 80s, we uh, had a skateboard ministry where we did anti-drug shows at junior high and high schools. The fact that we were able to go in there and do a skateboard show and have an effect on those kids' lives, and not only that, but the parents' lives, because once they saw their kids turn around, it was uh, it was pretty awesome to see the, the lives of the, the parents change also. That's, mm -hmm. that's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. I was traveling about three weeks out of a month. That was a lot of traveling, and uh, when my wife became pregnant with my son almost 16 years ago, uh, I decided that I was traveling too much. From the skateboard ministry to the carpet cleaning industry, that's a, that is very, very hard work. I, I figured it out, I think it was 2,000 lunches that I would do per job, and I would do anywhere from about 8 to 15 jobs a day. You weren't afraid of hard work. <laughs> no, I was uh, able to do anything it took to feed my family and keep you know, food on our table, so to say. One of the things that I loved during the 80s was being involved in the ministry mm -hmm. and the impact that we were able to have in other people's lives. And I can honestly say for the last 15 years, I've been praying for something like this. I didn't know what kind of form that was going to be in, but the fact that it was in a business, actually, uh, this is more of a ministry than anything we've ever done in our lives. Right. Well, because with that corporation that we ran for 16 years, we knew that being an entrepreneur that we always had big dreams and big vision. However, we went back to trading time for money, and because of that doing very well financially, but feeling very absent from what our calling was before when we were in the skateboard ministry, not feeling fulfilled spiritually. We were looking for uh, you know, another type of business, and even though we were successful in the carpet cleaning business, Paul Barrios actually got a hold of us and gave us two bottles of the Monavie, and after drinking it, I got very excited, and we dove into the business without looking back. So when Monavie came into our lives, we saw it as a business venture originally and seeing us having an answer or a vehicle for the time freedom that we knew Monavi could provide for our family, but had no idea that it was going to evolve into this. I can say that uh, I've always been into board sports, and I retired from skateboarding professionally when I was 30. I think four or five years later, I found wakeboarding, and. Uh, Man, I just, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the fact that I could do it, you know, and be a little bit older, and, and if I hit the water, <laughs> so what? The water's a lot more forgiving than the pavement. <laughs> kind of like snowboarding on the water, I guess you could say. Yeah. We work our Monavie business really hard, and then uh, we like to take Thursdays off and uh, go out to beautiful Lake Elsinore. It's uh, nice and green, like pea soup, I guess you could say. I love it. I think it's beautiful out there, so we'll be going out there today to do some wakeboarding. Yo, I hear the voices of the people from deep within, yo, they say it's man amongst evil. Living every day, you're an untold story. Got news cast live on your TV sets with live recordings. Everything I see is political gimmicks on the scene. What happened to a brotherhood that could withstand anything? We living in a world where homies ain't afraid to pull the trigger. Got parents raising thugs, pimps and even cold killers. Times to change, but in my eyes it's all the same. Stuck at the crossroads, can't get past lanes. Yet I'm still sending prayers out in his name in search of a better tomorrow, a better today. Yo, they senseless. They all simple-minded. It's that propaganda man that be leaving us blinded. See, I speak for the children. Speak for the boys and girls. Speak for my people. Yo, I speak for this world. Come on. Pick, choose, win, lose. Who got the answer? Who got the clues? I got the scars and you got the bruise. People got a voice that the people must use. Pick, choose, win, lose. Who got the answer? Who got the clues? Well, I that's got how we do it out here at Lake Elsinore, beautiful Southern California. Usually Mondays I go skateboarding, uh, Thursdays I go wakeboarding, and then on Wednesdays I have what's called Wifey Day. <laughs> and uh, I, some of the guys try to make fun of me about it, but uh, I'm going to tell you something. You know, to get your toenails and your fingernails done so you don't have a bunch of, you know, funk, funk in there, <laughs> so your wife actually, uh, you know, is attractive to your wife. We take that time just to shut down and kind of reconnect. It's exciting because we do stop and pay attention to things that are important, not only to each other, but um, to ourselves because it's very relaxing. And then it kind of brings us into a place where we're, it's kind of solitude and quiet and we really reflect and we kind of talk about the next week and have a special day. I was broken, you that 
silence was the loudest of words Not so going after all for the words that were heard Yeah, and Lord, you will always be my father Cause I didn't know mine, but you were like no other I never really had one that got to be one But to me, you were always second to none This what being a Montevideo distributor is all about, treatment it's all thanks to you that in my life I can't surpass the You used to think carpets, but now I get massages <laughs> Cause I know it is my heart that really matters in the end But I know you're still with me You're the one that provides me strength Cause you're the power within me You've been there from the beginning And we'll be there till the end Maybe you only took me to, to my place of rest And as I reflect on everything you've done for me And everything you have provided For my family I'm One of the things that Paul Barrios told me In the very beginning was This personal development Is going to come before the fortune and after you get to where you can, you know, to where you got the fortune and you're making the money that you're making as a black diamond, you can afford to give the money away because of who you became in the process. I'm a true believer that wealth is, uh, first of all, relational, and it's emotional, and then physical, and then spiritual, and then financial last. And when you're able to make those impressions in people's lives, that's, that's, that could be really, really powerful. You know, after a while, it's, it's really not about the money. It's about what God's call is on your life. So we're feeling very complete in Monavi, not only financially and time freedom, but I would say what that for spiritual reasons, for our emotional reasons, as we've gotten older and our journey has evolved to this, that we really do believe that we found our place. You know, you do a little bit of what you got to do for a short while so you can do a lot of what you want to do for a long while. Our dreams have just begun.